consciousness, my friend. Though you won't enjoy it long. <sighs> we were good in the beginning. But you turned out to be kind of a failure, didn't you? <laughs> you still don't get it? I've been using you, Ethan Thomas. <laughs> I watched you and followed you and used you to find the serial killers you so desperately sought and then kill them. Okay, I must admit, I was a bit dramatic. Killed them the same way they'd killed their own victims. <laughs> a bit of fun, you know. <laughs> I got good at it. Shame it ruined you at the Bureau. But some things are unavoidable. Of course, since you're no longer going to be any help, there's no reason to go on this way. How would you prefer to die? And I didn't like the torturer's methods much. Too risky. Perhaps a slit across the throat, like the roadside carver. Ah, short and sweet. Or maybe the bone cutter. Neatly dissected the body, removed the internal organs, and labeled them for the police to find. Oh, yes, he was one of mine, too. We were so close to him, but I got there first. <laughs> Perhaps it would be better if you lost a finger. Quickly, you must find and destroy it. It has caused all this madness. Go, kill it now.
hero, not to your old life. Thomas, you have looked into the face of hate, the visage of evil. Know that hate is in your soul, too. It is, sadly, everywhere. Mastering one's fear and controlling one's hatred is perhaps the most difficult thing one can do. Well, at least it's over. It's dead, and the killings will stop. Stop the car. No, no, you still don't understand. He's done unspeakable things, even though those he killed were killers themselves. But he isn't responsible. He's not in his right mind. He's... Stop the goddamn car now! Open the trunk. Thomas, don't! He was a good boy. We were all good people. We were able to fight it back, most of us. My nephew was not as strong. He fell victim and destroyed so many things. We fought to save him. I I, I must continue to do so. I don't care whether the sick fuck is in his right mind or not. Think of what you are doing. Both of you have a chance for redemption. Redemption? Listen, old man, you used me just like he did. You you used me to save your precious nephew, a, a serial killer. You're, you're no better than he is. You really know how to impress a lady, Thomas. Around here, people keep to themselves. Why the lay-low routine? I've been cleared of the murders, but my suspension has got me thinking. I guess I just... I don't know who to trust anymore. Yeah, tough break. Man, you look like crap. Yeah, I've been better. You said you found something interesting? Yes, very odd. A cult seems to be behind all this. We can tie them to the deaths of the serial killers investigated by your department. A cult? The man responsible was Leland Van Horn. Yes, I know. He manipulated both you and us. But where is he? We have no Leland Van Horn in custody. He... uh, Look, I explained all of this in my deposition to the Bureau. But a lot of unanswered questions remain, Thomas. Which brings me to why I'm here. Maybe we could make better sense of all this if a few more were found, but under the circumstances, you did well. (sighs) Anyway, the results suggest a group may be behind all this, and lots of other criminal activity around the city. Do you know anything about this? Who these people are? Are you affiliated with them in any way? Rosa, can I trust you? Of course you can trust me, Thomas. We've been through a lot together. Look, I have no idea what any of it means. Something weird, something unexplainable happened during my investigation. But truthfully, the questions you ask, I I just, I can't answer. I'm sorry, Rosa. I'm sorry too, Thomas. I really am. Take care of yourself.